So we're going to compare the two just to see if the price point really makes a difference when it comes to styling. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Cheryl and on this channel we talk about fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and a little bit of vlogs. So if you are interested in any of those things, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another video. In today's video, we're going to compare the two outfits that I have hanging here behind me. One is a little more affordable while the other one is just a bit more pricier. As you can see, I love my clothes, my shoes, my accessories, but I am the person who do not believe you need to have every single thing in your closet to be high-end or designer. So I love the fact that my closet is well balanced. I do have those pieces that I will splurge and spend a couple of extra dollars on but I also have pieces that I'm just going to not break the bank with. I am going to be very cautious with the amount of money that I spend in it but I'm not going to skimp on the quality. Again guys I mentioned this in my heels shoe collection. It is not about the price point but it is all about the quality. So I do have a few um, tips when it comes to me buying the more affordable pieces and when I shop some things that I kind of look for just to make sure I'm getting pieces that will hold up and that will look good although I'm going out and buying cheap clothes I don't want to look cheap like we're not going to look cheap we're going to spend less money but we're not going to look cheap we're going to go so, ahead and start with this one so we have a pair of black jeans and the, these are straight leg jeans and they're about ankle length on me. I'm 5'3 and they are high waisted and I love that they have like this gradient detail right here. And then it does have like a little bit of distressing right there in the pocket. And um, there's no other distressing in the pants but they are nice and stretchy. Just a very good pair of jeans. And guys... These jeans are from Walmart. These are the no boundary jeans and they are in the super high rise. And they're just a really, really good pair of jeans. I love the way they just hug my body, but they're not too tight. Like they're nice and stretchy, plenty of room to move. And they look really, really good. I've had these for a while. I've worn them and washed them multiple times. I don't dry my jeans. I do hang them to dry. But the fact that I have worn and washed these multiple times and, and they still look like new, I just love that. A really, really good pair of jeans. I to find them and like link them down below so that you can see the price point of them. But they're from Walmart, so they couldn't have been more than like $30. So a really, really good pair of jeans jeans nice weight to them just a really good pair of jeans and then I wore it with this sheer blouse here with the textured design on it guys this blouse is from Shein this blouse is from Shein and I'm pretty sure I paid less than $15 for this less than $15 for this blouse from Shein and she is a beautiful I love the fact that it's see-through you know I love a good sheer piece and then I love the um, detailing all over it's all over the sleeves it's all over the blouse so you can just wear it with a nice black bra and that's it you don't need to wear anything else underneath it um, because it's black so it pretty much covers you well but if you wanted to put a cami on underneath you could but I just wore it like you see in the video with a black strapless bra and she looks so good and I love that I love that so when I do go out and buy these inexpensive pieces I do look for a few things just to make sure it is of good quality and one thing I like is when the piece has texture I like the textures in this blouse or in any other inexpensive piece it's kind of like a filter it's going to hide and disguise any imperfections in that piece so I do love that this has that and then I will check like all of the seams to make sure there's no 
like straggly thread hanging about and I didn't find that in this blouse when um, I received it and I looked through it and checked it over so those are some of the things that I look for when I'm in a store like Walmart Target or you know any of these places and I'm buying like and like the cheaper pieces I look for certain things like what is the material like am I going to be able to wash this and dry this multiple times without it peeling or without it shredding or without it getting holes in it like I look at those types of things when I'm out buying these pieces it's like is this going to last me a while is it going to stain is it going to rip like I look for that when I'm looking at these inexpensive pieces so the fact that this top has that texture design and it may look more expensive than it really was but just a nice piece I have it in this black and I think black and anything is going to look good it's going to look richer so definitely think about color when you buy these pieces if you buy something in black or like these darker deeper colors it's probably going to look more expensive versus if you buy something that's white white are always going to look expensive it just depends on what it is what type of material and that things of that nature but it's something that you can consider when you're shopping for your pieces and as you can see here I did um, just cut the tag here because I don't like tags that can be seen underneath my clothes and because this is sheer you can certainly see that there's a tag there so some of my pieces I would just cut out the tag and then I always cut out the little um, string or whatever they have that you can just hang on the hanger I always cut those because I never use them so I just feel like they're in the way and then sometimes you know they can be um sometimes they can slip out and can be seen and I hate that so I always cut those in any tags that I think can be seen I will cut those out too so for shoes I am wearing these are beautiful Valentino Rock Stud dupes. These are from DSW and they are in the brand Mix Number no. 6. You know how much I love my Valentino shoes. I have them in two pair and I absolutely love them. I want them in another pair. But I don't want to always wear them and then wear them out. Wear them to the ground. Like I don't want to do that. So I wanted to get another pair that I can kind of alternate between my black ones and these just so I can keep my black ones looking as fresh and as vibrant as possible. Like I said in the shoe video, I think I've had the um, original Valentinos for about three or four years and they still look really good. And that is because I have been wearing my alternative ones. The second pair of the alternative ones that I bought because the other ones, I wore them to the ground. So these um, are a new pair that I bought over the summer. And that's another tip guys if there is a designer out there that you love and you just don't want to spend the money for them find the dupe find a dupe and i do that sometimes if i see something that's expensive and i don't know if i like it i don't know if i will want to invest in it i'll just find the dupe and try that out and wear it out and see if i'm gravitating toward that then obviously i love it so i need to if i want to and i feel like it's worth the money then i can invest in the real thing but other than that get the dupe get the dupe like when i wear these so many compliments so many compliments like nobody's checking if you paid fifteen hundred dollars for a pair of shoes or not like if you're really checking about how much i paid for something and i'm wearing then your priorities are mixed up so if there's a dupe go get the dupe girl so these are my dupes i love them i feel comfortable and confident when i wear them i get plenty of compliments perfect perfect shoe so that is the outfit on the low end let's move on to the outfit on the higher end so for the jeans that i have these jeans are from nordstrom and they are by the brand top shop and they're not i mean they're pretty reasonable i feel like they're not any of the more expensive jeans but they are you know a pretty penny do have a nice stretch to them they are the skinny leg jeans and they go right above my ankle which i like so it gives you um it stops like right above my shoe so you really get to see my shoes and they're in this beautiful rich 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 looking 
black and I've had these jeans for about two years so I so I have definitely worn these and washed these multiple times again I don't dry them in the dryer I hang them to dry but please look at how rich they are in color still after two or maybe even three years of wash and wear they still look really good they're still jet black so I love that about these jeans they're nice and soft they are very comfortable to wear um, they hug the body in all the right places so just a really really nice pair of jeans by the brand Topshop and I think this may be one of the more affordable brands at Nordstrom but it's a really really good brand a really really good pair of jeans and then I am wearing it with this silk blouse from Lily Silk. This is a long sleeve button up blouse. Um, I think I showcased this in white in my other video. But just a really, really nice, flowy, breathable blouse. I love silk blouses. I think I also mentioned in that video that I love to wear my silk blouses with jeans. So I think this blouse looked really, really good tucked into those black skinny leg jeans. Just a really nice, streamlined, chic look. Um, and I really, really, really like this. I do need to size up in this because this is in a size small and she is tight. She is tight, so I do need to get her in a bigger size. But again, if I want that more fitted look and know that I'm going to just have a few of the top buttons undone, this is nice for that. And I want it like nice and snug inside of my jeans or whatever the bottoms that I'm wearing. And I don't want like a whole lot of fabric overlapping. This is perfect for that. But just to be comfortable, I do think I want to get this in a larger size. But beautiful 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 blouse looks really good with the jeans and because the blouse and the jeans are like so close in color like they're both about the exact same color black i did want to break it up just a little bit i still wanted it to be like an all black look and streamlined but i did want to break up the top and bottom so it actually looks like i am wearing two pieces and not like one jumpsuit so i added my black ferragamo belt to it with the gold buckle and i thought that looked really nicely it ties in the shoes that you will see i'm going to show you in a second the gold buckle does and i just thought it was a really nice addition to the outfit and the reason why I didn't choose to wear a belt with the first look is because I felt like you could distinguish between the top and the bottom because I thought the top was a little more rich in the color black but the pants were a little more faded like it had like that gradient detail so you can obviously see that I was wearing two separate pieces but with this look I feel like the two blacks are very close together they're almost identical so I did want to break it up so that you will see like as soon as you look oh she has on a top and a bottom and not like a oh, one piece suit so that is why I decided to wear a belt with the second look and I didn't choose to wear one with the first look so you just have to like put your outfits on and just play around with them and kind of decide you know what kind of accessories you want to add with them so I didn't add any jewelry with these looks but you know I'm going to wear my jewelry so I would like layer some gold necklaces and then do some gold earrings and that would be the complete look and then of course grab my sunglasses and a nice handbag that would um complete both for the looks but let's move on to shoes so i did wear this outfit with my black valentino rock studs so as you can see these are almost identical to the dupes that i just showed you like it's not that much of a difference i mean there is obviously a difference but it's not that noticeable so i thought both of the shoes looked very well with each of the outfits and i will switch the pieces i will mix and match the pieces from both outfits that i've worn so but i just thought that this was a really good look so that so that brings us to the end of this video i thought this was a pretty fun video for me to compare almost the same identical outfit but at two separate price points just to see if price really makes a difference when it comes to fashion and style as for me i didn't think that the price point made a difference between each of these outfits Outfits, I thought I looked just as good in the low as I did in the high but you let me know down in the comment section below which one was your favorite so thank you for watching before you leave don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video